Hi, I'm Chef Ben. Welcome here to the Chef School at Bueller's Fresh Foods. Today, we're gonna to be teaching you how to carve your Thanksgiving turkey to perfection. It's gonna be awesome. So let's talk about carving our Thanksgiving turkey. So there's a, a few really important things that you wanna make sure that you do. Uh, first, let your turkey rest. It's really important. You know, it comes out of the oven, it's great, it's fresh, maybe even you're pressed for time, but just give it a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes to really make sure that all the moisture gets locked in. It's gonna make your final turkey product really juicy, delicious, and incredible. Second thing is have a sharp knife. Really important when you're carving to make sure you have a sharp knife. Uh, it's gonna be less dangerous, um, as well as make it a lot easier for you as well. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing with our turkey is we're gonna look right here for these creases. So you can see on the bird right here, we have the breasts right here uh, and the legs right here. So you're just gonna look right down here for these creases and we're gonna start using our knife, and gently work, work, work those through. So you can see the, the turkey and you're gonna see throughout this whole thing has a lot of natural separation areas. So what we're gonna do first, so you can kind of see how that's already starting to pull away. That's a great indicator that we let our bird uh, rest for long enough. All right, and we're just gonna kind of keep going and we're just gonna pop that off just like that. Boom, beautiful. Now, it'd be really, really challenging from this angle. A lot of people will try to cut it from this side. I really recommend that you flip it over uh, so you can kind of see there's almost like a natural little line where you can just separate those and that's gonna make for a really easy, um, easy drumstick for you there. We're just gonna set that off to the side. Another thing you can do at this point right now is if your turkey is tender enough, you can either run your knife over it or around it, but you can remove this bone right here um, from the thigh, and that's gonna make it really, really tender. You can actually slice that at the end when you're doing your presentation. Uh, and one thing I didn't mention, but I'm going to now, it's really important to try to keep the skin intact. Um, so again, everyone's looking for that nice, crispy, delicious turkey skin. So we're gonna set these off to the side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now we're looking at um, the removing the breast of the bird. Uh, something you can do if you want, if you cut through here, there is the fish bone. Um, and you're more than welcome to take that out. I'm actually not going to uh, for these purposes today. And also, if you uh, leave on the wings, it'll actually give the turkey some stabilization. So I recommend you don't remove those until after the breast. All right, so what we're gonna do we're actually gonna turn this around here. We're gonna start by going right down the bone right here. And so you can pop it off and you can see, so it's gonna have two uh, nice areas right here where you can clearly see that it's gonna pull away. And what we're doing is we're just gonna run your knife. And again, having a sharp knife is super important for this. You're just gonna run your knife down those. So you can keep as much meat on there as possible. Beautiful. Oh. And we were able there to also keep our skin nice and intact on the breast. We'll set that off to the side and we're gonna slice that in just a little bit. So again, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So what we have here left are the wings. You can actually just easily remove those by popping them off like that. And you can save a lot of this for stock um, as well. You know, you can save this whole carcass. If there's, there's these delicious meat right here um, next to the fish bone that I talked about earlier. It's really nice and juicy and tender. You can save that. You carved the turkey, you worked hard for it. But right now we're just gonna set this off to the side. And again, we can use that for stock or um, some other delicious uh, soups and things like that. So we'll set these off to the side. Um, with the wings, now you can easily remove that drumstick. Boom. I know my kids really enjoy these at the holidays. We'll set those off to the side as well. Boom. Um, these wings, again, they're great for stock. Um, they don't make the best eating, but who knows? Right. So for the turkey breast, uh, so you wanna make sure, so the grain is going this direction on the turkey. You wanna make sure that you slice against the grain. What that's gonna do is give you the most tender uh, possible turkey breast that you can have. So we're just gonna slice this in nice even slices. And again, utilizing a sharp knife throughout this entire process will make your life so much easier. 
If you're worried about the turkey being cold, put it on a tray after you've sliced it and prepared it. As long as you let it rest in advance, you can put it in the oven for a few minutes to heat it back up and it's still gonna be really juicy. You don't wanna go a long time, but you know, maybe 350 degrees for like three to five minutes, just enough to bring that heat back to it right before you serve. So the same thing right here with that thigh. So now you actually have a boneless thigh that you can just slice up so everyone can enjoy um, whichever part of the turkey that they prefer. Right, and it's as easy as that. Everything else can be left exactly the same. Now I'm just gonna spend a few moments arranging everything on the platter just to give you a final presentation. All right, so there you have it. Whether you prefer everything to be whole or you prefer it to be sliced, everything's done in the back, ready to serve at your table for your Thanksgiving turkey. I'm Chef Ben. Thanks for watching What's Cooking with Bueller's Fresh Food. Have a happy Thanksgiving.